Hey guys, Melinda here with a couple of quick tips in Atlantis again, um, just to help make things a little bit easier, especially when you have clients coming in with maybe the whole house worth of belongings for their pets. So hopefully this helps in those cases. It's not a have to do, but definitely a helpful thing. So this is for CCS and PCS who might need to know where to find these items and uh, how to make it easier. So here's my today at a glance. You guys know what that looks like. Um, I'm hoping to be able to take a picture of belongings such as, you know, just the toys and such. You don't have to be so creative with writing down 25, 30 things that's like half-eaten blue rhino or whatever this looking thing is, that kind of thing. You can um, simply take a picture of everything except for the pre-portioned items. So cans of food, separated pre-portioned Ziploc baggies worth of food, um, medications, those things are going to have to be written down no matter what on the contract. But other than those things, like with how many and all those kinds of things and what they are, um, you can take a picture if you separate all the belongings out where you can see each item individually so that you don't have to write them out. You can just snap a quick picture and be done. So I'll show you guys what that kind of looks like. Um, first of all, this is a newer feature, at least to us. So you may have to make a folder with that. And you can actually do all of this within Atlantis itself. So I'm just going to pick a client here. So just double click and open up. I'm sure that this pet does not have one. So this client's blue bar right here in between the appointments and clients field, if you double click it, it's going to kind of fuss because it's like, you don't have one of these yet. Do you want to make one? You say yes. And when it does this, simply look for um, this client's name. And so I'm looking for Taylor. And here it is, Miss Sonia Taylor. So I'll double click on it and it's open. Um, if I upload a photo, it will go directly into my scans folder, which will pop up automatically. And then I'll just drag and drop it here. So you'll see that once I close this out, it's now made. It's easy for you and your picture will be right here. The other thing is I did want to make sure everyone got the last memo of simply double clicking in the last name section and typing in something. So my own pet right here, typing in Chavis, like you do in Avamark. Um, you can also do the same thing on the pet name, double clicking and say you can't remember what um, Fluffy's last name is. Here's Fluffy Love You. Okay. So just a couple of quick tips there. So picture wise, so just to show you how this might look again, let's um, let's just make another one right quick and then I'll delete it. Let's see Ginger Country, she's at least already gone. Go ahead and make her one just like we did before by double clicking on the client's blue bar and clicking on Jimmy and Sharon Gidry for theirs and now they have a made folder. I can just simply leave this window open and then continue with taking my picture of my belongings that I would like to add and then using this little photo sync. I dragged and dropped it right here so you could see it. Um, You'll see this app on the desktop up front at the resort. Um, I'm using it on my computer as well. And then you'll see it over on the resort cell phone to use to actually take the picture and upload it right away. So let me show you how that would look. So let's see if I can flip this thing around and you can see. Okay, here I am. Um, here's the cell phone. If I can show you that kind of, this computer's kind of weird, but, um, this is what it looks like when you open up that app and it's a little red circle up here is um, what you're going to press. So you just select your photo, select the little kitty cat there. Sorry, this camera's like backwards, I guess. Um, so I'll select the kitty cat and then I'll select the red circle at the top right hand corner and it's going to go pretty much automatically. So I'll walk you through it since you can't really see well and it's all backwards. So it's hard for me, but basically I am just going to select my photo, press the red circle, click on selected, just the selected photo only, 
click on the computer and I'm clicking my PC and then you will see it's popped up right here. So it's already opened up in this folder on the side so, so you can see it and I simply drag and drop and now it's there. I would rename this to um, if this was ginger, I'd name it ginger, and you see that the date's already there. So you wouldn't need to, you know, add the arrival date or with a stay or anything like that. It would already just be there. Okay, so that's really that. And then if you want to know what that looks like, we are going to see as soon as my computer is done. There we go. So you can open it up. He wants to know how to open it up because I didn't set my computer up for this. I have set the resort computer up for this though and it will not ask you that question. But just so you kind of know the process, I wanted to be able to show you and today is a good Friday so that's hard to do up front today. Um, but then there you go. Of course it would not be a picture of a kitty cat. This is Ginger Gidry stuff but um, it would be a picture of all her belongings. So another one that I have done for Max and Caesar Stokes, I can show you that one. So let me just not forget to remove this right quick. And it's really simple just to get rid of, um, just delete like any other thing, just say yes. So her folder's made, we won't have to worry about that now, but at least we don't have a picture in there we don't need. Um, but let's say Max and Caesar Stokes. So again, I can use my cute little thing here that helps me out so very much. So glad we know this now. Um, so Max and Caesar Stokes, double click on the client's field. And this is their belongings for this day. Again, my computer's not set up for this, but we'll make it work for this time so you can see what it looks like. All right, so turn it like this. Um, the bags are emptied. There's dry food here that's not pre-portioned. I did write down the medications and the ZV cans of how many. And then the rest you can see, Neosporin, black glove, um, the different combs and brushes these guys have, two bags of treats, um, their two bowls, this blue and green squirrel kind of toy, um, this red and yellow kind of toy, zebra toy with frilly things, baby powder, everything is taken out so you can see. And just know when someone takes a picture of the bags, they want you to know what kind of bags it all came in, but there's nothing in them left. So that you can just simply make sure you have those things and put it right back in. So just a quick check instead of having to write each one of these things. So anyways, hope this helps guys. Um, it's much easier at the front desk. Sorry, I was trying to get you a little video to explain my process. I have written it down in the arriving um, resort arrivals protocol that I'm making. Um, so you'll see that up on here too. Okay. Thanks so much guys. Have a great Easter weekend. Bye.